Hey, what's up guys welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at Mesh 2 Motion. This is a pretty cool tool that it just surfaced and it's currently in alpha. This tool has a lot of potential as the idea behind this tool is for anyone to be able to load in their 3D models, whether it's a humanoid, a quadruped or a bird creature and rig these and also animate them quickly and easily. This web app is open source and is totally free for anyone who would like to work with it. And of course, for those who are thinking about checking this one out, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can see all of this stuff. Now, if you come through and click on try it now, you will be able to try this. And this has a very simple UI, which sort of invites you to start doing stuff. Right here, we have a couple of reference models that we can play with. And this includes the human, the fox, and the bird. So if we click on the human and click on load, this loads a nice looking mannequin that we can use as a template. We also have a couple of options that includes rotating the mannequin towards a particular axis. And we can also snap the mannequin to the floor if this is not the case. Now, once you have the mannequin in there, you can select the kind of hand options that you want. So you need all fingers, thumb and the main finger, maybe a single hand bone, all fingers, whatever you want. You can simply go ahead and have to select it. Now, once you have this done, you can click on next and you would notice that we have ourselves a very nice stuff. The skinning looks pretty nice, to be honest. And once you have this here, you can go ahead and check out how the skinning is being done. So if you don't want to see the skin, of course, you can click on that. If you like to see the skin, you can do that. At the same time, if you like to make some adjustments, once you're making any adjustment on any part, automatically these adjust on the other parts once you've got the mirror left and right joints turned on. So this is pretty nice. Now, once we have this ready, we can now go ahead and skin the model and this does all of that skinning. And the cool thing is this gives you animation. So this is more like what you have with AccuRig, which is a very brilliant tool from the folks at Revolution and Mixamo, which is also a tool that has been existing for a very long time now, except for the fact that the folks at Adobe are not really paying too much attention to that one. And the idea behind this tool is to bring about more options when it comes to rigging and adding animation to your characters quickly and easily. So we have this animation here, and of course, we can go in and select multiple ones. So depending on the kind of animation that you want, you can have them selected, and you can see we have, you know, pretty much similar animations with various animation tool sets that we have before. So this in itself, it's pretty cool. So if there's any of the animations you like to download, you can click on them. And let's say we like to download, you know, the swimming one that looks cool. If we like to download the sprint run, we can also have that selected. So any of the animations you want to download, to be honest, you can just have that selected and you can hit the download button to download it. And this downloads a GLB file that you can open up in any DCC app of your choosing. Right here, we can also play with the arms. And if we like to see the joints, we can turn this on and turn this off. Now, if we backtrack this a little bit, Let's take a look at something I think a lot of you guys may want to see. So we've got the Fox one, and this is for quadruped, pretty similar to what we looked at before. So we can go in, have that selection, and then you can just simply go through and skin this. Pretty nice. You have a couple of basic movements, like the idle, the seat, the T-pose, which is actually like the standing pose. And we have the walk. There's no galloping, no jumping, none of that. You just have basic stuff that you can work with. And this in itself is pretty cool. And then we have the bird. Now, I think this is also going to come in very handy for a lot of people. So just in case you've got like a winged creature, like a dragon or something that you're thinking about rigging this, instead of thinking too much about how you can rig this, this is definitely going to help you rig that stuff pretty, pretty quickly. So we can have that there and you can go ahead and test out some of the animation. And because this is still in alpha, a lot of things do not work as advertised. So in this case, the T-pose just remains the T-pose. And we have this very interesting animation, which I think... You know, doesn't really, this is not the point. The point is you can rig your stuff and it looks pretty cool. So you can definitely go ahead and explore this. Now, when I said not everything works as advertised, I'm literally talking about the basic things that we get to work with. So by default, we did get a couple of characters. So characters from Sketchfab that are just T-pose characters. If you bring them in, there are things that do not work. And this includes loading up the character. Most characters will not work if you load them. Again, it's forgivable because this is still in its very, very initial state, which is in its alpha state. Another thing that you would also notice is if you bring in characters that you just worked on in another DCC tool and you choose to load those in, those may not also work. So in this case, we did go ahead and get the fuse tool and made a couple of models and we brought those in. That is also not working at this point. Hopefully this is going to be updated over time. But there are characters that works and the characters that work are characters that you download 
of Mixamo. And that is something. So in this case, we actually went ahead to download this character from Mixamo and you can see that it loads up pretty well. So if you're in a situation where you're loading your own characters and they're not working, it might just be the fact that this is still in its very early age. And so there's a lot of things that are not working as expected. So once you load up your character, you can now start doing stuff. So I can set this to human. Possibly I would just want a single bone. We don't really want a lot of fancy things at this point. Click on load rig. And here is where some other cool stuff happen. So you notice we have this skill and then we have this other one. If you take a look at this, there are no skill in transform, which brings us down here. So in this case, you have to gamble some stuff. I'm just going to dial in 45 and gamble the size so we can scale that and that looks pretty nice so we have this at 45 if at any point in time you're not getting the exact scale of what you want you can actually go back and back and do stuff with it so i would want to raise this a little bit upward so i'm just going to have that selected and we would push this a little bit upwards like so and from here we can start adjusting the joints and once we skin this model, this is what we'll be having. So we can now go ahead and, you know, play with these, see what and what we can get out of it. And you can see this looks pretty cool, has a couple of interesting potentials, but it's not yet there. So for those who are thinking about checking this one out, this is a tool that is coming pretty soon. You can go ahead and check out this stuff. It's currently open source. This has been in the works for some time now, but we're beginning to see more and more updates roll out to this particular tool. So for those who are thinking about checking this one out, you can simply go ahead and see this. And of course, if you'd like to take a look at some of the other tools that seem to have a bit more ground, then you can definitely go ahead and see those. For example, the AccuRig, which is a free tool that you can actually download and start working with right on your computer to do any kind of rigging. This is an amazing one. The folks at Heat, We've already covered a video about them before. They also have this amazing tool that you can also use to rig your character, do cool stuff, work with motions. They're creating a whole new ecosystem as well. This is also another interesting one. We've also talked about AutoRig Pro before from Atel. This is also another nice one, but this is a paid one. For those who are just thinking about creating characters, mix them more style way, just like we have with this other one, and rig their characters quickly and easily. Links to this is also going to be in the description, by the way. And of course, Mixamo, which is more like the tool that a lot of these tools are actually looking at and making cool stuff from. And of course, for those that work with Maya, there's already a free tool right inside of Maya for making your characters come to life quickly and easily with a single click. And of course, that is the default head IK that exists in Maya. So in case you're thinking about more subsequent solutions that are pretty much free and that you can work with, then you can simply go ahead and check these ones out. Now, the cool thing with this particular one is, is free and open source. And because everyone likes it on open source community, what this simply means is these might eventually evolve depending on how much contribution it's gonna be getting. So this might eventually evolve and become a much more nicer tool, especially for the fact that it has both quadruped and bed rig capability. This is something that all of the tools that I've just mentioned do not possess. So mesh to motion alpha is currently available. And for those who like to try this out, links to this alongside links to all of these other ones that I've just talked about, it's going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.